Hello everyone, Aaron here from ASM Computing. Now today I've got a, um, a tutorial for you to do with Internet Explorer. Now I've heard a lot of people and I've recently had someone bring me their computer due to a problem with Internet Explorer. The reason being is every time they use their wireless it keeps coming up Internet Explorer cannot display the web page which is not what you can see in front of you. Now the reason it's doing this for me is because I've actually turned my internet off to get this message to appear. Um, I did actually change a couple of settings to try and get it to come up with my internet still on but it just kept sitting there refreshing the page and it would not come up with an error so um, I've just had to go like, go like this by turning my internet off to actually show you the message but basically this happens more more often with laptops wirelessly than it does a computer that's directly connected to a, um, an internet source so if you're directly connected to your router then you shouldn't get this problem but if you're using Wi-Fi sometimes you end up getting this problem now there's a couple of things to fix this so let me turn my internet back on and again it's probably going to fix this error straight away but I just wanted to show you what the actual screen looked like with a message that pops up so we're back on with that so if I was to refresh you'll see that I don't want to do that you'll see that all it'll do is just sit there and it's just trying to find the page but it can't find nothing now that's because of the settings that I've changed um, and the reason I've changed them is so that I can actually show you how to fix the problem in case yours is set like this. So what you need to do to fix this problem is in Internet Explorer, if you're using an old version of IE, you'll have your uh, menu list items across the top and you want to go into Tools and Internet Options. If you're using IE9, there we go, it's come up in the Explorer, cannot display this web page. So this is what actually happens with my internet on. Um, so if you're using IE9 or above, not that there's anything above IE9, as far as I know, but f for anything of IE9, you need to click on the little cog, which is your tools icon, or as it's got here, Alt plus X. So if we click on this, it'll bring up, our options and as I said we want internet options now the main problem for Internet Explorer with this uh, web page where it doesn't display is always more than likely the connections tab um, basically inside of here you have a proxy server not yourself that you're using but uh, Internet Explorer gives you the option to be able to go for a proxy server so that if you want more security um, and just for yourself to be able to access um, the internet the way you want to do it so most of the time if the proxy server is selected with the checkbox it, basically you won't get anything uh, displaying on, on Internet Explorer sorry for the bit of a uh, loss for words and the, the gaps in my speech it's just because I've had a bit of tooth problems at the moment. I've been up the dentist um, and I've got to go back up there maybe to have a tooth out. So I'm looking forward to that. But anyway, back to the tutorial. Um, so basically if we open up the connections, then ignore the rest of this. If you're using dial-up, obviously stay the way you are. Um, I don't use dial-up, so I don't have to worry. I'm still, I'm not in the Stone Age anymore. Uh, but when it comes to fiber optic, I still am in Stone Age because if I live in a little village, we ain't gonna get it till about September. Um, and it's already changed twice. Every time I've checked it, it's always changed on the date of when it's gonna be rolled out. So I'm still waiting for that. But now if we click on land settings you'll see that automatically detect settings is selected 
which is correct and when I was saying to you before about the proxy server so now these it will use a, a proxy server for the LAN which is what I was trying to explain so you can make a VPN connection which is a vi virtual private network um, which you can actually host on your own router so that if you're out and about you can actually access uh, any any files and that from your computer that you upload to the VPN if that makes sense um, for all you guys that don't know just go on to Google and type in virtual private network from your local computer and that should bring up everything for you but none of these at the bottom should be ticked so let's untick this one this one I haven't got a clue what the address is I'll just put anything in and let's untick this one the only one you should have ticked is automatically detect settings unless unless you actually know what you're doing and how you've got your sorry how you've got your network set up you may need to use some of this stuff but as I said this is only if you're getting this problem so if we click OK and click OK again and wait for that give that a minute not a minute we should be able to just refresh now but I just like to give it a couple of seconds to let it sort itself out so if I refresh we should go straight to msn.com so there we go and we're working again so that is one of the ways to fix this the other way I'm not going to go in depth and show you because I've done videos on this type of thing but you need to basically go into the system look f at my other tutorials I've got a few tutorials on there which shows you how to clear out your temporary folder how to check for viruses how to use uh, malware bytes or a program similar to get rid of viruses viruses can actually cause that kind of problem as well um, and if you're still getting that problem with the web page error obviously give me a a message on YouTube let me know and I'll do my best to uh, get you an answer and try and fix your problem uh, if not then the other alternative is to when you uh, view that page is just click on diagnosed connection or diagnosed problem and it will give you a, a few options of what you can do to fix it so if you need anything else guys, uh, any videos you want doing or any help you need regarding computers and laptops and such not, uh, sorry, <laughs> and as such, then uh, just give me a message and I'll get sync up for you. Okay, cheers guys and see you soon.